All right, let's try something new. How about getting inspired by an art movement and turning it into a title animation? In this After Effects tutorial, it is Cubism. Hey guys, my name is Manuel. Why? If you only get inspired by other motion design, everything just looks the same. That's why you need to see beyond the edge to truly stand out and create unique stuff. Cubism, the avant-garde art movement, emerged in Paris in the early 20th century. One of the most influential artists you might know is Pablo Picasso. The key characteristics of this art movement are abstraction and simplification. The artists turned away from realistic modeling of figures, they fractured them into geometric forms, merging background and foreground. They abandoned perspective and instead showed objects from various angles at once. And we'll use these characteristics to create a tile animation. Alright, let's start by adding some basic geometric shapes, which I've already done. It would make the video too long and boring watching me do that. Get the free project file or stop the video now to recreate it. On top of these shapes, we're gonna add some text, letters in this case, and each letter in a different font. That's kind of different angles and perspectives. Let's animate the name of the art movement, Cubism. It starts, surprise, with a capital C. The font? Bebas Neue Pro Regular, size 470 pixels. Next, a capital U. Let's change the font into Didoni URW D Regular. We place the letters across several shapes. Size 450 pixels. A small b. And this time, let's use all round Gothic Medium, size 430 pixels and it fits perfectly onto the next three tiles. Then a small i, for which I use the font Arvo Regular, size 460 pixels. A capital S, Anton Regular, size 460 pixels, across these two tiles. That leaves one tile for the last letter. A capital M, Bebas Neu Regular again. Let's set the size to 300 pixels for now. Color, black for now. All fonts are available on Adobe Fonts. You can use any font, of course. I would stick to mostly clean fonts, though. Next, let's link a letter or part of a letter to each shape. We start at the beginning with the first tile. Let's move the C down above field one and link the letter to it. Then we use the effects and presets window to add a set matte effect. And we take the matte from field one as well. So it's only visible on that tile. The C is also linked to the second field. So we duplicate the text layer, move it above field 2, and link it to field 2, and take the mat from field 2. One more time, it is linked to field 3. We duplicate the text layer again, move it above field 3, link it to field 3, and we take the mat from field 3. Pretty exciting, I know, especially since we're linking all the other letters to their background tiles as well. I am crazy fast, huh? All right now, we did all this to mess around with the letter parts and change scales and positions to make it more abstract. <laughs> Don't go too crazy though, it should still be at least somehow readable, probably. So we go through all the text layers, resize them and change positions. Awesome. We select all layers and get rid of the stroke. Looks kind of awesome already, right? We add a new solid, color white, name it background, and move it to the bottom of the layer stacking order. Then let's invert the colors of one or two shapes. That's kind of merging background and foreground. Let's start with the M. That's field 12. We change the field color to black and the color of the M in the character window to white. Maybe one more. How about field 3? Yeah. The fill color black and the part of the C which is on that tile white. Let's keep the U part black. Awesome. Originally I was thinking of adding colors, but I really like the black and white look. It's abstraction and simplification, right? One of the key characteristics we were talking about earlier. Before animating the title animation, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, 
Then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. Use the code MANUALISMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. It's called Title Animation for a reason. Let's animate it. We start at the beginning with the letter C. Let's move the other layers back to 8 frames or so. First of all, we adjust the anchor points of the shapes. We select field 1 and use the anchor point tool to move the anchor point to the bottom right corner. If you press command or control, it snaps. Field 2, the anchor point to the upper right corner. Field 3, we move the anchor point to the upper left corner. And then we select all three shapes and open the scale and position properties. We add keyframes for those properties at 8 frames. Then go to the beginning and adjust the X positions. Because we linked the text layers, they move along. Then we scale the shapes down to zero. We select the right keyframes, then open the graph editor to adjust the speed graph. First we add easy ease, then we slow down the end of the animations even further. Next we slightly offset the timing of the animations. The small shapes being potentially faster than the big ones but we keep it clean and simple overall. Let's go through letter after letter again. It's alright, but it misses some secondary motion, I think. So after animating the shapes positions, let's animate the letter positions on top of that. But first, let's adjust the overall timing a little bit. That's better. More fluent. Now let's animate the letter positions with two keyframes, just slightly moving. And we slow down the end of the animations. I literally didn't know how the title animation would turn out when I recorded this video. Usually I test all animations before recording them. Anyways, I really like the result. Hope you do too. How would you turn cubism into a tile animation? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure to check out the links in the description. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one, bye guys!